joining us today to talk about jobs, jobs in the city of Rochester. I'm joined, of course, by City Council Vice President Willie J. Lightfoot, the Director of Emergency Communications Michael Serretto, Fire Chief Willie Jackson, and Police Chief Laurent Singletary, as well as members of their great staff. Let's give them all a big round of applause. Also standing here with me today, our clergy from our city's houses of worship, Reverend James L. Cherry of Antioch Missionary Baptist Church, Pastor Jonathan McReynolds of Enon Missionary Baptist Church, Pastor Melvin Cross Jr. of Glory House International Church. Let's give them a big round of applause. We are here today to kick off the citywide public safety recruitment campaign with Rochester's faith community to help get the word out about the many wonderful career opportunities available in the police and fire service as well as emergency communications or 911 as we call it. Going back to my city council days, I wanted to build a diversity of a public safety department and what better way to do that than to work with our faith community. They are some of the best communicators we know. They know our neighborhoods and care about people who live there. That's why we're partnering on this public safety recruitment effort. This year is very special because all three departments are hiring at the same time and are conducting exams this summer. And we want to ensure that Rochester residents take full advantage of this opportunity. This is a perfect chance to earn a good living wage with excellent benefits, all while serving and protecting the citizens of Rochester. It is truly an honorable career. Our goal is to continue building the diversity of our uniform ranks in the city public safety departments. Sometimes fire and police service can be viewed as a profession outfitted for men. But as we all know, that's not true. So the city is encouraging women to apply for these positions as well. We need you. We believe that our uniform personnel should reflect the communities that they serve because it improves the public safety, improves our public trust in these departments, and a significant part of our public safety. Starting Sunday, recruiters from all three agencies will visit local houses of worship and will continue to do so each Sunday in June. They will provide information and requirements for the job titles of police officer, firefighter, and 911 dispatcher. I'm thankful for the assistance of our faith community to help us reach many more people. We have several current employees who have come to us from our outreach efforts at our city churches. Mark 10:45 says, even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. 